ladies and gentlemen, these dirty ass LMPD cops returned back to the scene after the shooting to collect all of the shell casings that were on the floor. I'm gonna go back to what I said. These folks have no business trying to patrol the black community. They have no business trying to patrol us. So this is the Daily Mail, September 27th, 2020. New body cam video shows cops wading through the empty bullet casings littered on the floor of Brianna Taylor's apartment as SWAT member orders cops charged with wanton endangerment, endangerment over the botch raid to step outside. <clears throat> yeah, they went back to collect the shell casings. Body cam footage captured the aftermath of Brianna Taylor's death has been released to the public, helping to paint a clearer picture of a botched police raid that led the 26-year-old, um, you know, to her death. <sighs> the footage obtained by Vice Magazine on Saturday shows inside Taylor's apartment, Louisville apartment after she was fatally shot by officers on March 13th. Sergeant Matt, um, yeah, Mattingly and Cosgrove and Hankinson bust down the door to Taylor's apartment shortly after 12.40 a.m. to conduct a no-knock search warrant in relation to a drug investigation. At the time, Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were purportedly sleeping, and the loud intrusion of the officer startled them from their slumber. Walker grabbed his legally owned gun and began firing at officers. And that is not what happened. And they're, they're saying, according to the ballistic, you got to understand who's writing these reports, y'all. It, it ain't one of us. Okay. According to Vice, LMPD had insisted that no body cam footage existed of the actual raid itself. However, there they were able to obtain vision recorded by other officers and SWAT team members who responded to the shooting. The publication shared two short clips. The first one showing an officer threatening to release a barking narcotic dog on Walker as he stands outside the apartment complex, walks straight back, or I will send this dog on you. Again, they have no business patrolling us. Y'all need to go patrol your own neighborhood and get them opioid addicts and those meth heads. You got plenty of work to do in your own community. The footage then shows Officer Hankinson and another police placing Walker in handcuffs. Walker was charged with attempted murder, which he should never have been charged with. And thanks to Olu Stevens, the judge, he was able to get Walker out of jail. The charge was later uh, dropped. Meanwhile, a second video recorded on the same night shows Hankinson inside Taylor's apartment after the shooting took place. Vice claimed that this is a violation of police investigation uh, procedure. Yeah, because Hankinson, like I said, is a dirty cop. In the clip, Hankinson can be heard asking a SWAT team member about shell casing seen on the ground. The SWAT officer sounds uncomfortable and orders Hankinson to leave the scene. Mm -mm -mm. Told him to get the hell out. On Wednesday, Hankinson was charged with three counts of wanton endangerment. Attorney General, that dirty Attorney General, Daniel Cameron said at a news conference Wednesday, and I agree, he needs to release the transcript to that grand jury because I believe Cameron lied 
and he withheld information from that grand jury. When he was fired in June, his letter of termination said he showed an extreme indifference to the value of a human life. The, the first degree charge is a class D felony, which carries a penalty up to five years in prison. Trust me, if they can avoid putting this man in jail, they will. He won't see inside of a, a prison cell. You saw how fast he was able to make bond on that very low $15,000 bond. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, okay, so the charge is linked to shooting into the neighbor's apartment. Hankinson, two colleagues, Mattingly and Cosgrove, were not charged. And we, we already know this. We already know this. But, you know, that right there shows you how dirty they are. They knew they weren't supposed to go back to the scene and pick up shell casings. They knew that. And just think about everything that has happened. So they went back to try to grab these shell casings and, and then submitted a blank police report. And this attorney general is going to look at all of this. He had the ballistics report. He had everything. So he's going to look at all of this and find these cops not guilty. And he know damn well that bullet in Mattingly's leg did not come from Walker. Wow. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about these cops returning back to the scene to grab up shell casings. And they knew that was a violation and did it anyway. You know, like I said, dirty cops. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.